Good evening, my lovely, lovely viewers. How are you all doing on this lovely evening? Or morning, or afternoon, or, you know, whatever time it is where you are when you watch this. Um, well, I had an experience today. As you know, I am in this creative, flow, happy, go-do-your-thing um, vibe. And every now and then, of course, I kind of stop, so they have to restart again. But all in all, it's still going. I still um, try to write my book bit by bit, and I still create. And, you know, I, I, keep, I keep thinking about what I want to do, how I want to do it. So I keep the flow going and all that. So I'm still happy and I'm still good. But something happened today. I got a possible customer and that would be the first one so my first thought was yay awesome a first customer I can actually start get to get going now and my immediate next thought was oh my god what if I don't know what to say what if I mess up what if I'm not good enough what if I can give the information someone needs. What if, what if, what if? Ah! Right? That was the second thought, like immediately after the first one. So I needed to calm down quickly. And I realized that, thankfully. So I took a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And I just took the time to realize it's okay to be scared because it's the first time but it's more important to get excited because this is another first step towards your dream and it's a first step towards your goal and it is a possibility to start building something to start doing what you love what you're good at and Damn girl, you deserve this and you can do this and you know you're good enough because this is your passion. This is what you were born to do. And so I needed I needed to take that time and to just let that sink in. But it, it made me realize it's a very different story between wanting something to happen and then actually realizing that it is happening they are two very different things and the emotion that happens with that is surprisingly strong because I, I was I was freaking out not for long because I don't do that because I don't like that because I don't like stress and I don't like fear and actually I do like fear because that keeps you motivated a healthy level of it I should say but um, yeah, it, it's 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 something I don't get stuck in it because it's not a place that is productive, but it is very real. So you need to be aware of that. If you want to achieve anything in life, you have to be aware that the moment it comes your way, it will shock you and it will require a reality check and it will require some deep breath. And the realization that this is what it takes to get to where you're going. To really dream and, and get there, you know. And, well, sometimes you need to create some tools to help you along the way. Um, so I did that. I figured if this happens to me now, if I freak out now I can still get myself back because I'm in a good state of mind today I have a day off I'm calm I'm relaxed I'm you know happy and positive but if I have a bad day and I freak out like that I might not be able to do that that easily now see I'm I'm a visual type of person I, I need the visual reminders to know what I'm doing so I created a power board it's like a mood board, just um, for when your mood needs to be 
empowered. So I created that. I, um, yeah, put some pictures of uh, stuff that I created in the past. A picture of my face because it is about me. It is my power board, so I need to visualize myself as freaky as that is because it is kind of freaky to keep looking at yourself the entire time but it does remind me who it's about you know so get over that and use it if you like and i just started to type words that describe me and that describe my goal and my strengths and i cut them out as well and i just just pasted them all over the board and well this is uh, what it turned into I have no idea if you can read it but it is uh, me with a whole lot of words like responsible creativity the universe dedication trust wisdom confidence love sweet strength determination Making money, ADD power, gotta have ADD power, strength, guidance, focus, feeling, just do it, honesty, intuition, drive, oh, and so much more. And these were all words that I needed to see and to tell myself and remind myself of to remain calm and to remain away from the panic attack because no one needs that. But uh, yeah, it's what's going to happen at some point in your life, probably. So be aware, be ready, and also be ready to just have faith. You know, remember that your goal is what you are aiming for, is what you dream about. And that whatever happens, you know, no matter how scared you get, if it's what you're meant to do, and if it really is your dream and your passion, then you will find the right words to say and you will find the right thing to do as long as you don't freeze. So don't let the panic overwhelm you. Get back to that place of faith, of trust, of inner knowledge that you can do this. So yeah, that is um, my very next step. And I am very excited and you know what one more thing to realize though um, before I go is if even if it doesn't work out it's still a first step you know it's it's proof that the universe worked it's proof that you are in the right direction because something positive has happened and if it doesn't work out it's a learning opportunity and it's, it's it's something positive happening if it makes you feel strongly and if it freaks you out and excites you and stops to make you think all at the same time that means that something is happening and it's something big and it's something good so don't worry about the details don't worry about how it's gonna work out or if it's gonna work out it is a step no matter what so value that as a simple fact and that's all for now so that's uh, my life and maybe your life as well at some point let's hope so i know if i can do this you guys can so uh yeah have fun see ya bye